Aloha, welcome back to the Cyber Underground. I'm your host, Dave Stevens, and today we're going to find out uh, the tricky uh, how to get into the cyber security industry. And most people think you can't do this, this is too hard to train, you got to go on the web, you got to look something up, you got to read a book or two or seven or 18. But then if you want to do this for a living, how do you actually get the education in uh, economical manner to actually go out and get the certification, to get the job? What's the process? And uh, how do you get the money to do it? Today we have our exceptional co-host, Andrew, the security guy. Hey, everybody. And, and our uh, award-winning to... student, Nathaniel Weeks. I wanted to point Kentucky out County. before Dave gets rolling here that there's two sides of this fence you can get on. Yeah. <laughs> you can get on the dark side of this fence with relatively little education and a email account and a little <laughs> bit of onion router and go nuts. Right? I or you can go the right way, which what we're trying to convince people to do is to stay ethical and stay white hat and, and help us all with this problem. Hopefully they will. But uh, you're there to combat the people that don't do it that way. Right. right? That's, that's what we're working on. Uh, hopefully. So, that, yeah, there's two sides of that coin. Yeah. And it's always going to be that way, right? So, uh, so a little bit about you. Yeah, first give us some background. Yeah, background yourself. Where are you from? How'd you get here? What size oh, shoes? That's that's too long of a story. Uh, no, but I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm he said uh, no. I think. Yeah. No, no. flat out. I'm uh, from Alabama, so that's I, okay. I, we like yeah. it. So sorry. sorry. You're from Alabama. So. I did, and he still likes me. <laughs> uh, no, so uh, yeah, I'm from Alabama. I've moved moved to Hawaii about four years ago, and uh, the last couple years I've been at KCC. Uh, had pretty good professors there, uh, you know. Oh, that's a great, grow, that's uh, to get a great pump there. That's, that's <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, but I went there for IT, and then, you know, I started doing the research on, on what, was, what was the shift, you know, mm -hmm. in, in the, the, the field. You're doing trending analysis, right? See where yeah, I mean, going. and it, you could not deny what was what was going to be hot in the next couple of years, mm. and so I switched to um, the ISA route for security. That's information security assurance. Sure. Yeah, awesome. Okay. And and what was your plan? Did you have a plan, or did you just <coughs> switch to the classes and started taking classes? I'm still winging. What were you taking before <laughs> that? So um, uh, I had actually gone to school before, and that was just you know Gen Ed classes. Oh, okay. But this time, we this time going those. in, I, I knew that I was going for IT at the very so least. So you had a goal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this time I, I stepped in, and you know I was taking networking classes, OS hardware classes, things like that, and you know that was really interesting. And then you know just through research and through uh, you know it was Hal actually that was talking about this stuff. I. You know, I just learned that that was probably my best bet to get the most out of this career. Mm -hmm. So, so right you're talking on. about Hal Cochran, he's yes. our networking instructor, and he's, he also teaches cybersecurity fundamentals awesome. at mm -hmm. Capulani Community College. So uh, those courses were provided because of curriculum development paid for through a government grant. It was a federal grant. Um, in 1974, they created this Trade Adjustment Assistance Grant. 74? In 1974. So that was to help people that were getting worked out of a job and changes in technology and the economy, and, and they had to adjust and retrain and get into another career field. It's going to happen with coal very soon here. Somebody's going to have to tell those guys, coal's going away for the most part. You need to get into another career. And that's what this grant was actually originally for. Now, in 2009, um, President um, Obama and Uncle Joe signed a little uh, bill extending that called the Traded Assistance Adjustment uh, Career College um, Community College and Career Training Act, so TAC, and they gave a whole bunch of money to a whole bunch of states. Um, most of the money, by the way, went to Illinois. Imagine that. Because of all the coal miners? Because <laughs> that's where the president <laughs> was from. Oh, because of Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. because of Chicago, okay. and okay. then the second, the second largest funds actually came here to Hawaii. Really? Imagine that. That's awesome. And then um, in 2015, and it was from, for a number of fields, but in 2015 it was to support two specific fields, healthcare and cyber. So we got about five million bucks to put into cyber education, buy the equipment for training, and uh, create curriculum. And this is specifically for the community colleges. Oh, I see. Okay. So we have so seven entry levels, level. Entry level stuff. Yeah, first two years. We want gotcha. the first two years, and we want to get people from absolute zero to where they can make a decision. Do I want to enter the career field now as you know a cyber technician, or do I want to get my bachelor's, or go on? Actually, Manoa, the main campus of UH, has a PhD in information assurance. And you're going to go for UH West Oahu yes. information assurance <clears throat> Bachelor of Applied Science. 
Yes. Which got created without this grant. So we, we created all these courses and then UH West said, oh, well, we'll just tack on oh, another two years, which is, good. which is great. And that's run by uh, Matt Chapman, who used to run uh, Cybercom here up at Camp Smith at uh, Pacific Command. Awesome. Right up here in Halaba. So yeah, he's, he's moving on to that. So that's how we got the money and the curriculum to do this. And then I don't think we did much advertising. So I was really curious how somebody chose to get into the cyber arena because okay. we made a system of courses to give you a, a cybersecurity certificate of competence or achievement based on how many units you got. Mm -hmm. But if you went for the achievement one, you also got your Associates of Science in IT as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. On, the, on the way. So the course is actually, it's, you know, you get double credit. Right. <laughs> kind of nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, so tell us more about your experience. I mean, you talked to Hal. Hal said, hey, security is a big one. <clears throat> Yeah, so you guys already had me. Like, <laughs> like I didn't come in because of the, the grant. Like, yeah, I was already in for IT. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was really just the, the trend analysis that got me into that. Um, but, you know, when I was, uh, I was already taking, like, networking class, already taking the OS hardware class. And uh, I think that a lot of students should, you know, regardless of whether they go into security or uh, IT route, whatever, uh, you know, put in the extra time and try to get the most out of it. So it's not just, the, you know, the certifications or whatnot, but it's, you know, the, the labs that you guys set up. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's through the tech grant you said that. Yeah, so we set up uh, the NetLab environment. I think you're talking about that. Right. Most of the labs are done in NetLab. That's a virtualization environment. Mm -hmm. There's little sandboxes that you get to go and do these experiments. They give you instructions, go attack this computer, go forensically oh. analyze this computer, see what happened and where, where's the malware. Um, there's no capture the flags though, we gotta add that. Right, yeah. uh, actually tomorrow I'll be doing a capture the flag. Now whose capture the flag are you doing? Uh, so it's gonna be at West Oahu, so oh, okay. uh, the HATS team has, has got that one set up That's over the there. That's the Hawaii Advanced Technology oh, Society from Honolulu Community College, yeah. Yeah. which is probably the premier team here on the island. Yeah. It was started two years before TAC even came up. Yeah, Jason and his, his crew, right? And, and this is from Aaron Tanaka at uh, mm -hmm. Honolulu Community College, started this little mm -hmm. uh, crew. And they, they're heavily aligned, of course, with the Pacific Center for Advanced Technology Training, PCAT, and mm -hmm. UH West Oahu. And they, they're quite a team. Mm -hmm. They do some amazing, they win oh, they, a lot of competitions. They win a lot, yeah, 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 yeah they do. Good. They do the National Cyber League, the yeah. NCL, which is a bunch of sandboxes. Everyone signs into their own sandbox and tries to solve problems. Right and yeah and score. How'd you do last time? You you, you competed, right? <laughs> uh, I, I I competed and I was doing pretty good on the the, the early stages. Uh, toward the end, when mm. we had the finals coming up, uh, there was a little less focus on the NCL. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the the finals went well. Not so much with the NCL, yeah. but we had another team at KCC that did uh, quite well. They were top ten in the nation. Well, wow. that's that's amazing that we even score with the mainlanders. Yeah, you know, and and I, I think it's important that uh, many people don't realize that we're way, way out. We're the furthest west and furthest south yeah. state in the Union because we're on the same latitude as Guadalajara, Mexico, central Mexico. But we're on the edge of the Pacific Rim where not everybody likes us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we should be robust in cyber, right? And it's nice to know that we're actually competing at that level. I, th I think what's coming to the workforce is... Uh going to be valuable. I think we're going to have to work to keep them here, to keep them engaged and helping us because, you know, we're going to have to bring the wages up for these kids. The, the need's there. Yeah. It's big. We've got, how many have come through the program to, well, to date? Or just what are you on this at? island, we have over 220, I believe, awesome. that have come through this program already. Our goal was 400 students. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, by the spring of next year, we will meet that goal. Wow. And that's system-wide. We have seven community colleges. And so those are like two-year degree not a, not all summer of them are degrees. Summer certificates or certificate whatever, but they of accomplishment or uh, sorry, certificate of competence, which is twelve to fifteen units of nothing but cyber. Okay, so and they could go out and begin to help out anyway, probably on the defensive side, monitoring or helping to set up tools for. That's perfect trapping. for the working professional sure. who wants to shift a career really quickly. Okay. So someone who uh, say works for HMSA and he wants to change the department over to the cyber mm -hmm. um, operations, he can come and take twelve to fifteen units. Get that competence and that's certificate, enough. and that's enough to get you into that arena. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's all you need. Uh, certificate of uh, achievement though is uh, thirty to thirty six units, depending on what campus you attend, mm -hmm. and then you also get your associate's degree usually along the way. And when you do that, you also get professional certs. Right. Right. What's the professional certification that 
you just got. So, yeah, related directly back to this last semester, I went ahead and took the Certified Ethical Hacker. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it usually has this uh, requirement for experience, mm -hmm. two years. In the field. Right. Sure. Uh, and for students that, you know, can't get that in the, this uh, short period of time, you actually can, you can pay for some really expensive training, like $2,000 more than that, or you could take a, a class and, you know, it, it, we use the uh, official EC, EC Council. Council books. Oh, okay. And, uh, so it counted as training. Awesome. And then you were able to take the test, but you are actually even able to take it at a discount. So, I mean, not only are you getting out of the, <laughs> the crazy $2,000 training, but you actually got to take the and test. The, and the experience waiver as well, which yeah. is right. good. Right. Which is yeah. something, there's a, it's sure. a barrier to entry to the workforce. Sure. Right. right. Yeah. Not having the experience, but needing the experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's catch-22. Yeah. It's been forever. Yeah, yes. you know, a lot of people talk yeah. about that, how, you know, people show up and they've got cert, right? And so, I, I mean, realistically, I think the owners out there, you know, you're going to have to be prepared to train for what you need. Yeah. You know, people can bring basic skills to, to the table, you know, the, the people that you're going to hire, but you're going to have to be prepared to engage them. Don't just send them loose, you know, oh, yeah, here, go go help me. Oh, really? Right. Like, you know, you've you got to have a, a, a you got a plan for that ongoing training. Right. I hope more and more of the organizations here will continue to fund maybe that future ex uh, education that next couple of years or that next cert, the CISSP or the CompTIA Security Plus or whatever it may be that, 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 that can help these kids continue to grow, you know, into that organization. Here there's a lot of competition because it's so small. Right. So everybody wants to be pumping other hundred grand into Nathaniel, and then he goes over to the, my competitor and works, right? right? Yeah. And so yeah. that's always a concern in Hawaii, but right. we've got to sort of get past that because the need is going to be so great. It's, it's great. You know, yeah. our, 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 our data is being taken, our intellectual property is being taken, our PII is being taken, and so we're just going to have to have more eyes, you know, watching the house. Right. And that's, yeah. that's just, a lot of vendors are getting on board with this now. Um, I, so the, the people that bundled the books, uh, it's a provider called Cengage, they do textbooks, and you paid a fortune for your books. There's four smaller books. Yeah. And the students were forced to pay $370 per yeah. book? No, 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 for total. the for the bundle. But, uh, but this this seems... next semester, not only are we taking it from eight weeks to sixteen weeks to get more more practice, yeah. but the vendor has said we'll give it to you in e-text for I think a hundred dollars. Oh, it's time for me to oh, sign up. For the whole thing. <laughs> and and you get a hundred dollars off the test. So it's basically free. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man, you no, were the no. experimental <laughs> That's Model. okay. That's we got okay. you through the, you so the guinea pig. Success, Have yeah. you been working while you're going to school? Are you? So I did an internship this past semester with okay. High Tech Hui. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really great people guys. there. Yeah. Sure. Um, but apart from that, I've been turning things down to, to focus on finishing this school? education. Yeah. Good. Zero percent unemployment in cyber. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you sure. write your own ticket. Yeah, I can, I can see why. I mean, you know, you go to these events where you have uh, the, these different employers that, that are interested in these you know, smaller pool of uh, potential applicants. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're, they're already telling you, if you can do this, you know, we'll, we'll bring you in for the interview. Mm -hmm. And when you're a poor student, you know, <laughs> it's very it's tempting, tempting to just... That, that pull, that yeah. pull away. Yeah, Are so. the classes only available during the day? Or can, can they go to night school and work a day shift? Or They're mostly it? available during the day. So you'd day. have to work a second shift somewhere. And right, then, of course, right. you're exhausted for school. On this side, now, blah, Maui yeah. Community College offers these all <clears> online. Is that right? You can do the whole thing online. And Phoenix as well. I mean, some of these other schools actually have. I know we're talking about UH, you know, but, you know, there's other, there are. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, Maui would give you the rates that you pay. It's about $126 a unit. Wow. It's one of the least expensive ways to actually break into this and get some certified education that people will take. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really great way to break Beyond, into Beyond, so how do you think that compares to, like, to like you know, CompTIA and, and SANS and, you know, some of these other types well, of, some you of the know, ISACA we teach and that are geared stuff. towards CompTIA tests. So the okay. first thing you took was a... <clears throat> The 122 course, Cybersecurity Fundamentals. I actually took Your networking course. first. You took networking. So did you do Network Plus? I did yeah. the Network Plus. Oh, okay, after, and, that, after that course? And then I did a A Plus on the, after the OS hardware and install. Okay. And then I did the Security Plus after 122. So. Oh, really? Well, that's awesome. So, so both, those are great search to bring, right. you know, up, yeah. to bring in the door. Yeah, so just this entry-level knowledge on kind of all fronts mm -hmm. is what I was aiming sure, for. Sure, that. that's awesome. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, it was really is, good setup, Does the though. school help fund that, those exams? Do you pay for those yourself, or how's that work? So what, CompTIA gives them a discount. Yeah, we, we do get for a discount students. for that, yeah. And it brings it down a lot. Substantially. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You, get a, you get a big discount. And we're trying to develop funding to help people with the cost of the test. So um, one of the things we do to help with the funding is 
You co-founded the ICT Club. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about that after the break. We co-founded the ICT Club. They go out and they do penetration tests on different oh, that's companies, right. That's right. and they donate, and you can use those funds for whatever you want. And a lot of people want to use it to supplement the cost of a certification. Awesome. So, sure. Yeah. I think it's about time to take a break. Let's I haven't gotten bills. a word on this, but uh, we're going to take some break to, uh, break here and pay some bills and come right back. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. Every day, we move in and out of each other's busy lives. It's easy to take for granted all the little moments that make up our every day. Some are good, others not so much. But that's life. It's when something doesn't seem quite right that it's time to pay attention. Because only you know what's not supposed to be in your every day. So protect your every day. If you see something suspicious, say something to local authorities. Living in this crazy world so caught up in the confusion, nothing is making sense for me and you. We're going to give a little love, have a little hope, make this world a little better. So try a little more, more than every morning. I wonder if the mics are, I wonder if it's the amplification of the mic versus his. Welcome back to the Cyber Underground. I'm your host, Dave Stevens. <laughs> And caught us off guard. Nice. That we're was back. great. That's okay. Uh, we're back here talking with Nathaniel Weeks about his uh, entry into the cybersecurity arena, how he did it. His white hat entry. His white hat entry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep this clear now. They want to <laughs> they want to get that face and getting confused with hackers. So anyway, let's review Ethical that really hacking, quick. So yeah. usually uh, hackers right now, unfortunately, classified into only a couple of different classifications. Yeah. You know, it's white hat. Right which is so, the good guys, the black right. hat, which is definitely the bad guys. And then right. there's a bunch of classifications that fall into the gray hat yeah. arena, mm -hmm. hacktivists right. or a cyber terrorist. And you know, right. how did you pick the good guys? <laughs> yeah, there's, well, you know, there's a lot of money just, on the other side. There's right. a lot of money on the table. <laughs> well, how did you stay on this side? <laughs> right, that, that's a good question. No, uh, he allergic no. to handcuffs. You know? <laughs> now he's rethinking. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, no. How much money? No, no, no. <laughs> no so, you know, I, I was not a hacker. I was not a, you know, I wasn't interested in uh, trying to break into a computer or anything like that. So, yeah, it was just, that was the, the first time I'd even heard about that being used for good, right? Mm -hmm. So before that, it was hackers, right? It's the ones that are in the news every day that are doing the bad deeds. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was interesting to, you know, coming from the outside, coming from zero, right, to, to this knowledge, uh, to, to get to hear that that's actually a career where you do that for the good guys, you know, so. How do you feel about this now that you have this much education, a couple of certs, and you're gonna go to uh, University of Hawaii, West Oahu, how do you feel about your career now? I mean, you, you think you're on track? Right. I, I really do. It's, it's really exciting, actually. Like, I have, <laughs> I've been working really hard to get where I'm at, and I know I've still got some ways to go, but I'm, I'm excited about the next couple of years. Hey, you've got an excellent path, and there's people here just chomping in the bit to hire you with oh. a national security agents, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Department of Defense. They need good help. They need people like you. And once you get your undergraduate degree, that bachelor's degree, you're going to be incredibly valuable. And please stay on the island. Yeah. People, Don't be the they, brain dump. Yeah, the brain drain, and yeah, this happens drain, in Hawaii yeah. all the time, right? We're talking about um, you make about 30% less or even less than that um, out here on the islands com compared to um, what are the tech centers, Chicago, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, Redmond, Portland, New York. Those Denver, places are big. It's, it's blowing up everywhere. Yeah. There's, you know, you even Salt Lake City. I mean, there's it's coming up everywhere. There's we, a we lot gotta, of tech. We got to start paying our people a little bit better. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we got and all the old bald dudes with the white hair and the white beards <laughs> need to retire. Get, let these kids in the workforce get, quit That's keeping right. them jobs. That's the future. These guys are working here. to eighty. You know, like you got enough money, man. Go fishing. <laughs> Jeez. This is the place to go fishing. So. That's what I'm saying. That's right. Like, just re take it easy. You don't got to work anymore. <laughs> Tell us about the ICT club now. You guys, yeah. during, um, not last semester, but the semester before, yes. you guys formed this club, you and Rochelle Nansamungan. Yes. Yeah, and you got Yeah, so uh, go? we actually formed it. Part of our uh, initial thought on why we, we needed the club was to help other students that may not be, like, socially inclined to uh, to find a, like an outlet to yep. help, help them study, help them you know, learn about what's, what's going on at the school. Mm -hmm. And then you know, we were given this great opportunity with the, uh, 
uh, email phishing uh, campaign to help uh, the community to uh, you know test their employees see like if if they're really actually exercising safe uh, browsing and, and this was great so we actually had a KCC graduate from Kapiolani who was running an IT department and we he came to our IT advisory board which is when we talk to all the community members that run businesses hey are we training the right people for you and he said I'd love to participate in this. and that's the first company you guys did we did an email right. phishing campaign against them and uh, we were unsuccessful <laughs> yes <laughs> to a point nobody actually entered uh, personally identifiable information right. but we accumulated a grand amount of data about all the people mm. that clicked on the link right. sure and that's still I mean if they clicked on a PDF we could have had that wrapped up with yeah. some malware. Yeah, an image or whatever today, yeah. Right. So and, we, and we can't do that. So that was not in the, the contract. Over. Right. right? Yeah. We, we had oh, barriers. Oh, it was non-destructive non or whatever? We had non-destructive, non-invasive. So we just tried to gather people to, you yeah. know, right. give us your phone number. Yeah. <laughs> we had some small errors in there where, well, not, not too small. But uh, yeah. now one of, the, uh, one of the emails went to their uh, IT person. So it got <laughs> snuffed out pretty quick whenever that happened. Um, Block the servers. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we that was a blacklisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Backtracking. That that was a little bit of a obstacle. Yeah. Right. It was a great experience, though. I mean, it was the the learning experience from that you, you can't get from a classroom. So that we that was one of the goals, seek right? Out those opportunities, though. So we're actively looking for some other opportunities for you guys to do yeah. that with. So you business owners out there that want to test your staff, you want to find out what kind of take rates you're getting. This is a good way to do it, and then you can donate some money to these kids for the effort that they put out and give uh, them some more education. That's a great point. Yeah, the donations go to the IT Foundation here at the University of Hawaii at Capulani Community College. It's a 501c3, so you actually get a write-off at the end of the year. It's a yeah. charitable donation. Exactly. Right. Awesome. And the kids get to use it for certifications. And our original goal yeah. was to try to get everyone get to, to DEF CON and DEF CON. Yeah. Awesome. And, and we just couldn't make enough money. Yeah, well, it takes uh, time. You know, But students are going. We have... We have five students that are going on their own awesome. to, to, to uh, DEF CON, which is July 27th to 30th this year in Las Vegas. And we're going to broadcast this show live from the floor at DEF CON That's on July awesome. 28th and interview the students. <laughs> so Hal's going to be there. Nice. And I need someone here to oh, in the studio? anchor the studio. Okay, that'll be if, me. I'll if be you're here. available, yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. It'll be, it's Friday the 28th. Friday the 28th, okay. yeah. and from, Live from Black Hat here on Think Tech. That's awesome. That on the Cyber great. Underground. That's yeah. super cool. But now, yeah. now you know they're going to be get some influences there, and they're going to learn about some other avenues of, of <laughs> recompense that aren't necessarily white hat related. That's all I want to say. That, you need to know these things. You need to know yeah. what people are doing that, that could break into your network mm -hmm. so you can defend your network. One of the classes we had, I mean, we had three-hour sessions class. It was just insane. Uh, but one three-hour class uh, was a skill set that I picked up at DEF CON. Awesome. I went and learned how to pick locks. Oh, yeah. yeah nice. And physical security is a big part of this, right? Sure. So I had sample locks and four lock pick kits, and I brought it in, and everyone uh -huh. grouped together. And at the end of that lock picking class, Cesar and a couple other guys were grouped up together, yeah. and they were timing themselves with a six-pin <laughs> lock, yeah. which is your basic standard door lock. Mm -hmm. And they were doing it in, what, 36 seconds? Yeah. Behind Just their back. Seconds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. incredible. Yeah, once you I, play we had to stop and don't go outside the room and do this. Because you know? <laughs> yeah, now they have a skill, right? I yeah, mean, and all whole lock, order these yeah. There's like lock picking societies out there. And these oh, are, I met yeah. the, there's a kid that works for Microsoft I met out here, and he, he, uh, the, he regularly goes to those competitions. They have clubs that meet every week, and it's a, it's a, it's a realm of, of being able to get harder and harder locks opened up, right? <laughs> and they get into the safes and, you know, the tumblers and. It's cool, it, man. It's, it's hard to say that you're in one of these societies because I always picture there's the, the guys that uh, do the medieval war playing. Yeah, and yeah. There's a Civil War reenactment. Yeah. And the lock pick and then there's societies. the lockpick guys, yeah. you know. But, <laughs> but it's this, cool, right? This is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Being a geek, I love well, it. Well, and it's, it's hard security, right? That's, that's, that's where what security started, right? Security was a lock, right? It was that's a locksmith. Right. Like, that's, right. that's that world, you know. So I think it's cool that it comes from there and that IT people, and specifically security IT types, pick that up because the physical world that I'm in, the physical security world, a lot of them doesn't, you know, it's only starting to blend these last few years where people are starting to understand that, right, you know, so we, need all, we need physical security and cybersecurity. Most right, people related. in physical security, they're part of the facilities department. Quite right? often, and quite they're, often. they're not even connected with the cyber sure. or the IT. Group, the, I, which, the IT. It's not uncommon uh, for us to have to sit down, I'll say, and let a client know, look, I need 
his IT and facilities may have never even worked on a project together, and it's <laughs> physical security that I, I request them both at the table because we've got to have all the stakeholders here to get the right answers. You Especially know? now since a lot of the physical security devices are IoT. Sure. Right? And even if Internet you, of theft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Internet. I like that. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> We're going to have to do another deep web segment, and uh, we'll get you back on here. Great. Well. In, in your last couple of minutes, what's your path now? What do you think of your future? What are you going to do? So I think the next step is to start doing a lot more capture the flags, get some more practical you mm -hmm. know, um, challenges ahead of me. And then I think... Can we describe that really quick to our, to our sure. audience? Capture the flag, a CTF exercise. Could you describe that a little bit? Yeah, so they, they set up these, uh, these virtual machines that have uh, certain hidden either words or... It just helps you to navigate these systems and to f find flaws, essentially, you know, so, so that you know the uh, system inside and out. And so that, that was also part of the NCL, too. Now, that's the National Cyber League. National so people Cyber. can look that up on the web, and oh, that, sure. that runs two, three times a year. And yes. It's nationwide, mm -hmm. and anybody can sign up. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, okay. Yeah, so but I know if you're in school, students. I know. And certain in ones they open up, obviously, you know, the Guard hosts on the Air Force hosts on this, right. the, you know, Reno's doing a, a bunch of different cyber hoodies. There's a bunch of this going on today where yeah. there weren't so many uh, just a few years ago. So no, there's a lot none. of opportunities yeah, for the kids to compete. It's quite nice. Uh, now, we did one in the spring a couple of years in a row, the CCDC, the CCDC. Collegiate yeah. Cybersecurity yeah. Defense Competition. Yes. Yeah, CCDC. Cool. And it, and it was. This one, uh, so in NCL, you do it individually. Yeah. Everyone's an individual. Oh, uh, CCDC, you Part replicate a, a, like a blue team. Mm. Yeah. You, you're a defensive team, sure. whereas the red team's the attacker team. Sure. You don't ever see them. So you, you all go into one room. Mm. And, uh, and then my favorite story in the whole world, <laughs> the team I was coaching, they were all in one room defending the, the computers. And, uh, and I brought pizza for lunch because I thought I was going to be a nice guy. <laughs> and the judge said, no, no, put the pizza here read it out, and he sent an email called an inject to the team, pretending to be somebody else. Hey, you know, Auntie Millie sent in pizza, come and get your lunch. All of them stood up. <laughs> and, and all, all your defense walked out the door? And that, and that was it. <laughs> they walked out, red team walked in, it was all done. Boom. <laughs> I love it. Done. I, I want to point it. out that I was not a part of that, <laughs> that CCDC. <laughs> I was in the next year. You would have been looking for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's no, so awesome. what I find is uh, when... when Good folks like yourself get up uh, into an interview. It's always, hey, what's your education? What's your certification level? What have you actually done? Right. So all these things stack the deck in your favor. You got a cybersecurity certificate of achievement. You got ASNIT. You got your certified ethical hack in your network plus. Plus, you were in the ICT club and you did the penetration testing. Plus, you did the National Cyber League and CCDC. So you got all this experience too. So when you walk in that door, the world is your oyster. Where do you want to work? Yeah, where do you want what to work? What appeals to you? NSA actually sounds really yeah. good. Yeah. You want to work in the tunnel up here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That sounds really good well, to there, me. I mean, why not work at the top? You know, that's the top of what's happening in the world, I believe, you know. And so, yeah. you know, our group, the Russian group, the Chinese group, one of them three, you know, you want to be, you want to be in the mix and you might as well work for us. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. get much more interesting than that. It really doesn't. And NSA so has So you won't be able to tell us what you do later. <laughs> right? you, can, you can go from uh, computer network defense to, you know, multiple other cyber portions of the NSA and keep your retirement and your benefits. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's combined job. now. They right. combined offense and defense. So it's there's some design. ethical issues with all that, right, that people uh, are, have talked oh, yeah. about. Yeah, so good choice. Okay, anything you want to say to us in our final seconds before we let you go? Um, I want to say thanks <laughs> for the last couple of years. Thank so, you for being yeah, such right a great on. student. This wasn't about teaching. I want to emphasize this about yep. learning. Yes. And the effort you put yep. into learning this stuff totally. makes you who you are. So right. Good job, man. All right. Bye, everybody. Aloha, and uh, we got to cut this short, and uh, hopefully you'll join us in the cybersecurity realm. And uh, next week, we'll be coming back talking about more cybersecurity. Until then, stay safe.